Depending on how you look at it, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg either has zero work-life balance or he's brilliant at it. In an interview in 2015, he revealed that he works 50 to 60 hours a week, which is pretty good for the CEO of a tech company. But if you include the time he spends thinking about Facebook, that number rises by a lot. And it's no surprise, people like Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, and Mark Zuckerberg rarely get the time to travel because they find it difficult, if not impossible, to leave their work behind. It's like having a newborn baby requiring constant attention. So when they do go on vacation, you can be sure they make the absolute most of it. While it's hard to take time off from work, you can at least ensure that whatever little time off you're taking serves you very well. And that's precisely what Mark Zuckerberg's 2016, the 107 meter super yacht has become the definition of explorer yachts, incorporating every luxury and adventure gear you can dream of. The yacht was commissioned by Graham Hart for $250 million. Hart is a billionaire from New Zealand who started as a bus driver and is now worth $8 billion. Hart later allegedly sold the stunning yacht for $195 million to Mark Zuckerberg. One of the Ulysses' most incredible amenities is a large 12-meter swimming pool located on the aft of the upper deck at a height of 9 meters above the sea level. The pool is partially covered by the third deck for shade and has lounging areas around it. Behind this 400-square-meter pool deck is an extensive jacuzzi surrounded by sun pads that overlooks the yacht's aft. Although an undeniable advantage of being on a yacht is the ability to swim in the sea, Ulysses is purpose-built to navigate in remote areas where the sea could be too rough for people to bathe in, which is when the 100% jellyfish-proof pool deck comes in. Near the swimming pool is a large dining table covered by a solid rooftop and ideal for informal lunches and barbecues during the summer. But Mark Zuckerberg, who was no stranger to a sunny environment like California, would prefer to soak up the sunlight. For that, there are also unshaded seating areas and dining tables on the deck. All of the furniture is a crisp white with blue accent, perfectly blending with the sea. There is a closed formal dining setup on the main deck and a glass and crystal chandelier hands above the table. The room has direct access to the chef's kitchen, and the service here is more attentive as compared to the relaxed vibe at the pool. The kitchen is equal to that you'd find in a Michelin star restaurant with massive freezer and storage capacities. Directly opposite from the formal dining area is a wine degustation area with curved walls. Each slot holds prestigious wines from all over the world, and there's a small intimate bar further in where you can enjoy a glass of wine while looking out through the large windows. Ulysses was built in Norway with the hall and superstructure being the work of Cleveland, with engineering done by marine technic Verkstads. The idea was to make a yacht that has no limits in any respect. This vessel can sail halfway around the world without refueling and is designed to endure the harshest weather conditions, from Arctic circles to the hottest regions, all while cruising at a speed of 15 knots. It has Rolls-Royce drive and control systems, Aussie pole thrusters. The interior outfitting work was penned by H2 Yacht Design in London and carried out by Europlan, a Finnish company. The large salon on the main main deck looks even more spacious and calming with the use of light colors throughout. An elegant partition made of glass beads with hops of blue divides the formal and informal living areas. Unlike smaller yachts where most cabins typically look out onto the sea from a tiny porthole, guests on Ulysses get to enjoy massive floor-to-ceiling windows directly opposite of the bed, allowing you to take in the full view of the ocean. Ulysses can accommodate a total of 20 guests. Of course, the largest cabin on board is the master cabin. It takes up an entire deck and stretches across 107 meters with tones of beige, white, and soft gold, this room is a stark departure from the rest of the yacht, providing Zuckerberg with a dedicated space away from the rest of the world. Here he can relax, take in gorgeous views of the ocean with the floor-to-ceiling panoramic windows, and unwind in the marble ensuite. The yacht features a variety of spaces where Zuckerberg can entertain guests, from formal to informal areas, including extensive sitting spaces and a large bar. This also includes an intimate guest lounge located inside the Explorer's Bridge on the top deck. This acts as a dedicated area for guests to take in the view and unwind without being bothered by crew operations. This area exudes. There's even a diner style set up on Ulysses with an attached kitchen operating 24 hours a day. That's if you're somehow tired of the gourmet meals in the formal dining rooms and feel like a burger and a milkshake. At its heart, Ulysses is an adventure vehicle, but that doesn't mean it skims out on luxurious amenities to keep the explorers comfortable. One of the amenities is the yacht's spa, which includes a plunge pool, a sauna, and a steam room, and massage rooms with white and dark blue color palette. There's also a a giant screen in the spa with calming visuals of jellyfish floating about, which sets the tone for the quiet bliss you'll feel here. The wellness area is completed by a gym with its extensive range of equipment and a breathtaking view from its tall windows. Another one of Ulysses' highlights is its cinema room. The room is fully optimized for a great sound and viewing experience, packed with comfortable sofas and equipped with pro-level projector and screen. When Hart commissioned this yacht, one of his express requests was for a fully functional helipad. This took on the form of a large, dedicated helicopter 
landing pad located at the top of the yacht, with the capacity of taking up the world's largest helicopters of up to 3.6 tons. This allows the onboard explorers to travel where the ship cannot go, allowing you to access the remotest of places great ease. One of the key aspects of the explorer's vessel is, of course, her gigantic toy garage, containing everything from jet skis to multiple large SUVs. You can explore new islands with the six motorbikes or just enjoy the waters with sea bobs and flyboards. It's not unusual for super yachts to carry a lot of toys, but this amount of toys on a 107 meter is something few have ever seen before. And seeing as how Mark Zuckerberg rarely takes time off from work, he needs all the adventure and relaxation he can manage jam-packed into one holiday. But that's not all. The most unique feature on Ulysses is definitely the one it carries on its bow, the two-deck 24-meter boat, which most would call a yacht in her own right. It requires two custom-built cranes to lift it in an operation that takes over an hour. If you're planning on using this boat, you'll have to inform your crew in advance. Speaking of crew, this vessel has 43 crew members, giving each guest on board at least two people to take care of them at all times. The crew berth area also has a laundry room with four washers and dryers, so every guest can have clean laundry at all times. The crew area has its own lounge with a massive TV and its own gym. This is definitely a difficult possession to part with. We can't imagine how Hart could sell this yacht to Zuckerberg. The story of Ulysses starts back in 2013 when Hart commissioned the vessel. He wanted the Ulysses to focus on interior volume, aft-facing guest spaces, a fully functional helipad, and large tenders. Seeing as how much time he put into it, surely he wouldn't just let it go that easily. Well, it turns out he commissioned a second Ulysses yacht, this one being 116 meters long. The yacht was renamed Andromeda in 2018, and Hart's second Ulysses finished construction in Germany that same year. The new Ulysses has a helipad, plus a hangar, and a wide selection of tenders, including a 21-meter Princess 68 yacht. Right now, Google lists the owners of both yachts as Yuri Milner, the Russian billionaire, but these are not confirmed reports. Whether it's owned by Zuckerberg or Milner, unlike the Flying Fox yacht, Andromeda is not up for hire by individuals. Oh well, there's always a one in a billion chance you'll be invited to the yacht, right? What do you think of the yacht? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give us a like and check out the King Luxury channel for more videos all about luxury. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.